Moses, good people. Um, Gugatash, Hinu di Had Kishkan. My hider name is Gigatash. Cheatskitne Studious Gargon, Hyderguy Studious Gargon. I'm from the Cheatskitne clan of the Haida Nation. I'm so honored to be here today over Zoom. Um, and I wanted to thank the Brower Youth Awards for allowing me this chance to speak and to learn from my inspiring co-award winners and to share my story as a student suing the Canadian government for their actions regarding climate change. I have been working for climate action my whole life, in a way. I have grown up fostering a great respect for the land. I have grown up on the stories of the land, stories of my father and my grandfather and generations going back farther than I can conceptualize. During Canada's 150 year anniversary, I was about 10 and my father was making a totem pole for a village site on Haida Gwaii, a place called Windy Bay in the Haida Heritage Site and National Park of Guaihanas. The protection of Guaihanas and of the land I learned and lived and played on. My ability in that time to see thousand year old trees and pristine conditions and ancient village sites and the home of my ancestors was wholly dependent on the sacrifices and work and power of my nation of my grandfather and the Haida community. They stood up for the protection of the sacred space and it was a long, hard battle, but they won. Guayhanas is a protected area now. It is due to these community members that I can enjoy and have my life changed by that space. This experience was really powerful to me and I would like to think that this lawsuit can be my version of that, my stand so that future generations can be shaped by the land and have the land grow them up as it has for me, so that people can take our pristine conditions for granted, as I did when I was young. That is the ultimate luxury, total security in the land to the extent that it's just normal. That is why what I want for Haida Gwaii's future. But if that is not possible, it is my honor and responsibility to preserve Haida Gwaii so that future generations have enough of the land to fight for. So this motivated me to sue the federal Canadian government because I have the chance to fight for my rights, because my culture and my history and the livelihood of my family depend on my right to clear clean air and water, because my language is really, really at risk and every aspect of it comes from the land. Without one, we lose the other. I am suing the Canadian government because due to climate change, I have lost any semblance of cultural security and my food security is at risk. Things that we depend on, fish, seaweed, yellow cedar, are already being impacted by climate change and are projected to only get worse. A healthy community needs a clean environment. I am suing the federal Canadian government as I have the right to a clean environment and to cultural and food security. Climate change is impacting me and my rights as protected in the Canadian Charter. My rights to equality, to life, liberty, and security of person and my public trust rights are being impacted by climate change. The same is true of my 14 co-plaintiffs from around Canada. The same is true for all Canadian youth, especially disproportionately infect, affected Indigenous youth. We are standing up for our rights this way, as we cannot vote, so we must seek protection through the court system. Canada's contribution in the climate crisis has yet again proved that my health and well-being, that of Indigenous peoples, that of youth is not reflected as a priority in the, by the government's actions. As I have seen for my whole life, my rights be treated as optional by the Canadian government. I have seen that attitude carried out on until this day. And I am so grateful for our amazing lawyers and sponsors and people who have made this lawsuit possible for my family and community and the inspiring people who have empowered me and made me feel like a fight for my rights is a fight I can win. From what I have learned and seen my whole life, I can recognize what a rare and incredible thing it is that an Indigenous girl in Canada feels that a fight for her rights is one she could win. I hope that this lawsuit inspires other young people and young Indigenous people. I have been so supported and inspired and I have learned so much from other members of my community and I aspire to help other youth and encourage them because we need more indigenous voices in the climate movement. This is not just about protecting our land. It is about protecting every aspect of who we are. Thank you so much for listening.